understanding multiple woofers. Okay? Max in Boston writes to me and he says, Paul, I'm hoping you can clear up some basic science about speaker design. When I'm trying to figure out the difference between entry-level bookshelf and floor-standing loudspeakers, the first thing that jumps out by looking at them is the number of their woofers. The bookshelf speakers often have one tweeter and one woofer. And the floor standing, that the same tweeter, but often up to four identical woofers. So my question is, what do all the extra woofers do? If they are identical to each other, what purpose do they serve? Also, people say that bookshelf speakers can sound just as good as floor standing speakers. How is that possible if they don't get all those extra woofers? You know, Max, this is a question that constantly plagues people. If we just look at the difference between a simple two-way loudspeaker, let's just look for a second at a two-way loudspeaker, a floor stander, and a two-way loudspeaker, a bookshelf, okay? Same tweeter, same woofer, just one has a small cabinet, one has a big cabinet or a, a taller cabinet. And let's say that each of the cabinets are exactly the same size, just one sits on a stand, one sits on the floor, okay? So let's start with that fundamental difference. What's different will be the bass response. In the bookshelf, the woofer is working inside of a very small cabinet. And that means that there's a lot of back pressure. Back pressure happens when the woofer moves in because it's going back and forth. And there's a small space, a very small space. So it's harder to compress the air inside. And so the woofer struggles a bit more than if it had a greater cavity to play into with less back pressure, which actually lowers the frequency of what comes out of the, uh, of the speaker. So for starters, the difference between a bookshelf and a floor stander with uh, everything else identical is the floor stander will have better bass. Also, just note something, and this is, I, I've said this before, bookshelf speakers, unless you're just setting them on a desk or something or putting them in a bookshelf, um, are, are, are silly. The same amount of floor space is taken with the stand as it would be with the cabinet. There's no difference. Just one, you can kind of see through it, and the other, you can't. But you're taking the same amount of floor space. So my advice is don't buy bookshelves. Buy floor standing loudspeakers. You'll have better bass. Now to your question about multiple woofers. There are a number of reasons why people use multiple woofers, mostly to get more bass. So bass and the frequency that it outputs has a lot to do with the surface area of the woofer. So a 12 inch woofer can output lower bass than a six inch uh, woofer can, okay? So a six inch woofer can go, you know, can go down and then and it rolls off at, I don't know, 60 hertz. A 12 inch woofer can go down and it rolls off at 40 hertz. So it can go lower because it, it because of its larger size, it's more able to couple to the air at, at, at lower frequencies. A, a small woofer can't couple as well, so you need more surface area moving at the same time. Well, one way to get that is by using multiple woofers. So two six inch woofers is actually, this, this would be a good question for Chris, but if, I, if memory serves correct, two six inch woofers has more cone area than a single 12 but let's just say they're the same. So two six inch woofers, if they're the same, would ostensibly, if they have the same amount of excursion, equal one 12 inch woofer. Why would you do that? You would do that because you want a thinner cabinet. You don't want a big cabinet, right? Uh, you don't want a, a 20 inch, this big thick cabinet. You want something nice slender, but you want that low frequency response, then you put multiple woofers. And the more woofers that you connect up, the effectively larger the woofer you wind up with, the lower the base that you can get out of it, okay? 
Hope that helps. Talk to you tomorrow.